We've got the cast of Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, and some of their most devoted fans out on our plaza. This is a prequel to the wildly popular show. It is set, of course, in 18th century England. We see Queen Charlotte's rise to power in this show, the beginning of the diverse society that makes Bridgerton so special and the start of Charlotte's love story with King George. Before we talk to the stars, let's take a look. Please accept my apology. If I had known that you were you... You would have what? Not told me that you were trying to escape? Well, yes. Mm. I mean... <laughs> I do apologise, Your Majesty. George. Just George. Uh, and joining us now, Golda Rochevel, Arsema Thomas, and Corey Milkreis. Good to see you all. Good to be Thank here. Thank you. Golda, it has to be the ultimate compliment to play a role in one show and then get a spin-off. What did you think when they called you and said, we want to do a Queen Charlotte prequel? It was a definitely a pinch me moment, yeah. a surreal moment, um, but one I am very, very grateful for. You know, as an actor, you put your stuff out there and you hope that people like it. Mm. So for Shonda and Netflix to then say, we'd like to do a deeper dive into this character, mm. um, that was, yeah, that was amazing. So are some of you play Lady Danbury, yes. the young Lady Danbury. Corey, you play King George. Yeah. For both of you, this is the moment. This, these are really your first major acting roles. It's all about to change. How do you feel? How can you put it into words? Really calm. <laughs> so you're so chill. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't mean anything, does it really? No, so surreal. I, it doesn't mm. really feel real yet. M not sure it ever will. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Yeah, no, I mean, it's the exact same way I, I keep... You know, every time I go to sleep, I'm afraid that I'm going to wake up and it's 2021 <laughs> and this has all been some sort of fever <laughs> yeah. dream. But it's been a real... Just a, a, so many dreams are coming true. And then on top of that, to have amazing mentors yeah. and great people on set, it's like, it, it's too good to be true. Arsama, I heard your family were huge Bridgerton fans, and you were like, I'll be an extra if I have to. This universe is so special. Yeah, I mean, so I originally had never watched the show before auditioning, um, but I had seen my mom and my sister absolutely fall in love with this world. And I had always been a fan of Shauna Rhimes. I mean, I, I grew up watching Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah. And so when I saw her name on the audition uh, breakdown, I was like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Get me in there. Got to do it. Exactly. Golda, we, we have come to expect from Bridgerton, you know, it's got to be kind of juicy. Do, is this a juicy prequel? Are we going to get, I mean... It... I think the fans will be very, very happy. That's what I was hoping you'd say. It'll be, okay, so we've got a love story. We've got mm. King George. Mm. So, Corey, you had, I, what I, I read that you really delved into the history and tried to understand more about this historic figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, I, I'd encourage anyone uh, that watches the show that, that wants to learn a bit more to, uh, to read a lovely book by a guy called Andrew Roberts, who's yeah. an amazing historian. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's all this new information. The Royal Libraries have come up mm -hmm. with this 20,000 private pages of yeah. a journal. Uh, it's it's all out there now, since 2015. Uh, yeah, it was it was a wealth of information, and I used as much of it as I could. Yeah. Um, in Shonda's interpretation. I was going to say, if you don't want to read a big, thick history book, we could just watch Bridgerton. Maybe just watch the show. <laughs> Maybe just watch the just show. Just watch our show. Yeah, it's exactly. But Arsema, you know, I, you're from Atlanta, is yes, that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have a British accent, and you mm. have a great story about being prepared for this British accent you need in the show. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're laughing. I told yeah. them the story. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, when I was Covert. in undergrad, <laughs> yeah, I had, um, I don't know, I was going through a weird time and I wanted to kind of escape the my day-to-day -day life. So instead of cutting my hair, I yeah, kept up a British accent for four years. <laughs> uh, and strangely enough, uh, now when I meet my friends from college, they don't even recognize that it wasn't me. So it goes to show that people don't care that much about you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can fake a British accent for a year. They won't exactly. even notice. Yeah. I know. Well, guess what? You were manifesting for this moment, I perhaps. Know, it's so strange. Did you give these guys any advice? Golda, you're the veteran here. The only advice that, you know, you can give young actors coming up and kind of coming into a world like this that is such a family mm. and has been from the start and the support has been there, is to support them in taking these characters on for themselves. Mm. You know, really grabbing it and, and going on that journey and being there, you know, um, if they need if they need to. But it, for me, it has to come from them, the actors, yeah. you know. Well, there's a lot to 
get into. We can't wait for the juicy prequel. Queen Charlotte gets her moment Tomorrow. in the sun. Yes. Thank you so much. We've got Golda, Arsema, and Corey. Welcome. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you for having us. We'll chat more on the fourth hour as well. And you can catch Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, on Netflix tomorrow, May 4th. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.